hey guys welcome back to my channel so it is currently 207 in the morning and i am going to hit you guys with february's favorites i was gonna film this earlier this week but whenever i say i'm gonna film something at some time it never works out that way so i don't even know why i do this to myself or even try but whatever but yeah so i'm just gonna give you guys last month's favorites and if you want to know what they were stay tuned so i have three categories to show you guys or four makeup skincare fragrance and i guess home goods something along those lines like homeware housewares home goods that type of thing all that wrapped into one and then some other stuff that i can't physically show you but they're just things that are my favorites this month and that i like i'm gonna start with the makeup of course because that is my favorite so first favorite of february and just period is the laura mercier translucent powder i love this powder you guys i really didn't buy this because of its price it's 43 dollars at sephora and with tax it's like almost 48 dollars and i was just like i really don't want to shell out that much money for a powder so i took the cheaper route and i bought the elf high def powder and translucent and i bought the nyx set it don't fret it mineral powder those powders are good but not for me the nyx one i do like though like when i want to cut my cheekbone that's what i use but the l powder no 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 <laughs> it says translucent but it's like white like white one day i just decided you know what i'm gonna buy it but i'm gonna get it and i love it it has changed baking for me so much i almost gave up on baking because i was like it just does not look right on me i always look too light and crazy and i don't have time for it so no but this stuff is the truth i really do like it if you don't want to shell out well i was gonna say if you don't want to shell out the money for for it for 43 dollars just get the mini size the mini size is 37 so you might as well buy the full size version if you're gonna buy it the only con to this for me is that it's super drying in my opinion i have oily skin as you guys know and when i bake under here while it does leave my my under eyes feeling like butter it's so smooth i always feel like it's just so drying like it makes me look so dry and not in a cute way so i don't know but i'm still working with the product and whatnot but i love it so far it is my favorite powder to date next is the hard candy bronzer in hula hula so this bronzer I use as a highlighter um, because it's a big bronzer. I broke the top off, I don't know how. Uh, this is a gift from my friend Nandi that I got in our uh, holiday swap that we did. And I didn't even use it for a while because I didn't know how to use it. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should just use it as a highlighter. And the first place I ever highlighted was under my eyebrows. And then after that, I fell in love with it. I was like, okay, let me put this shit everywhere. And so I did. So yeah, love this. Thanks, boo. Next is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Big Gelato Swirl Illuminator, which is just a fancy description for highlighter. This shit is the truth. It is so gold. So much so that I have to layer it with other products because sometimes it can come off as being too gold and leave me looking ashy. So I layer both the hard candy and this on top of each other and then it's diffused perfectly. And that's what has my nose popping today and this is why I am channeling my inner Rudolph. <laughs> Next are my favorite mascaras of the month. From left to right is the Maybelline Push Up Drama, the Falsies, my MAC hot and naughty waterproof lash and Too Faced Better Than Sex. I love these mascaras. I have so many mascaras. My mom calls me a mascara junkie. But I just love making my lashes look long and full and super, super easy. Like that's just something I love. I love that look. My favorite combo at the moment is putting on the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on first and then coming back in with the Falsies Push Up Drama mascara right after on my top lashes. On my bottom lashes, I use the MAC Cotton Naughty Waterproof Lash and then I put the Falsies Drama on top of that. Now, this mascara is really cool. I just discovered this, um, so technically it's not a February favorite, but I couldn't help but put it in here. So, when you open it, you open it from the purple part and that is the brush. I found out, however, by accident. I thought I broke my mascara, but then it turns out that you're supposed to do that. So I do take the smaller brush and I hit the bottom lash line first and it's easier because there's not as much product on it. So I don't have to worry about getting black 
dots everywhere under my eyes, which is really, really great. And lastly are my favorite lips for the month. These are my top three ColourPop Ultra Mattes that I am loving. From left to right, it is Limbo, Guess, and Avenue. Limbo is the orange-brown. Guess, of course, is the purple. And Avenue is that red. And I love these lips. These lips have been giving me life all month. I love purple lipstick, as you guys can tell. It is one of my favorite colors, and it's something that I'm pretty much known for. And Guess has just been hitting it for me lately. Limbo, I bought because my friend, Nandi, she had it, and she looked gorgeous in it. And I was like, yo, what is that color I need? And Avenue, I got when I made that massive ColourPop haul purchase that I did uh, before the holidays and I just I fell in love with the color because it's not too like red but it's perfect for just like being you know cute without being too much. Then Ruby Woo, that's a pure blue red lipstick. It looks great on everybody. Avenue however is not a blue red so it reminds me of like a mauvey red. It's not super bright and like it has a pinkish undertone and I am in love with it. So that's it with makeup. I'm going to move on to skincare. So the first skincare item that I'm loving is the Neutrogena Aqua Hydro Boost Gel something. <laughs> it's the Hydro Boost Water Gel. It is a moisturizer that just, you know, does exactly what it says. Boost the hydration of your skin if you're dry. Like I said, I'm oily, I'm not a dry girl, so I do not put this all over my face. I only put it under my eyes just to hydrate before I put on foundation and concealer because I always wanna make sure that it's not cracked or dry so that my makeup doesn't crease as much. So that's why I use this. This is a sample size that I have that my mom had and I stole it because she didn't use it. So that's what I use. I should probably go pick up the large tub, but I haven't found anywhere that sells it. So I don't know if they sell them in Targets or what. Next are the Maybelline Baby Skin Lip Balms. Just picked up this one. I have been rocking with the Baby Lips Dr. Rescue since the holidays, since around Christmas time. This is my favorite lip balm. When I was little, I would have the worst habit of picking at my lips when they were dry and scabbed and just disgusting, being weird. And um, I still sometimes catch myself doing it. So I picked this up mainly because I didn't have a lip balm at the time and regular chapstick really doesn't do the thing for me. It just makes me feel greasy. It really does what it says. It really does rescue your lips. My lips are smoother now and my liquid lips go on flawlessly, which I appreciate. So definitely check this out. It's worth the hype. Next is the Cup of Coffee face mask from Lush Cosmetics. This is my favorite. I love Lush because they are all natural vegan products and I like organic things when it comes to my face. I don't like putting chemicals on my face um, just because my, I have sensitive skin. So I really don't want to do anything or put anything on my skin that's gonna affect it negatively. So I love Lush, even though their store can cost the senses sometimes. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And this one has kaolin oil, agave syrup, and fresh coffee bean in it, and it just, so good it exfoliates the shit out of your skin and it smells like chocolate you smell like coffee ice cream the whole entire day like you're a walking starbucks so always leaves my skin feeling so soft so smooth and i smell good all day and lastly in the skincare section is my tea tree toner from lash this is a non-alcohol toner which is really really good because alcohol dries out your skin and when you put it on your face it's gonna be really really damaging so i pick up this it smells good it refreshes my skin i do it every single night before i go to sleep and even when i get too lazy to actually take the time to like use my spin brush i literally will just wipe all my makeup off take a washcloth to my face and then tone it'll pick up any extra dirt i love this stuff so much definitely recommend picking up it comes in a smaller size too if you don't want to make like a 20 dollars purchase for the big one but major key next is my favorite fragrance of the month my favorite fragrance of the month is mark jacobs honey this was a birthday gift from my little sister and i'm just in love with it like it smells so good it's such a classy fragrance like i never want to smell too mature or anything <laughs> if that makes sense like i never want to wear like an older woman perfume but it makes me feel like really like classy and like sophisticated without making me feel old and then in the housework category i am loving these candles by dw home this is my favorite brand of candles i have purchased 
and two other candles by them. My first candle by them was a gift from my friend Emily. Uh, it was a secret Santa thing that we did for our dance team and it was lavender scented. I'm like this close to being done with it right now, which makes me so sad, but I love it. It smells so good and all their candles smell good. They're hand poured, which I like, and they burn for about 56 hours consecutively. So if you just burned it, you know, you'd have it for about two and a half days. These are my new ones in Juicy Red Mango and Hyacinth Bloom. And I'm in love. Um, I got this one at TJ Maxx and I got this one at Marshalls the other day. This was $8, I believe, and they have all types of scents. The nastiest one I've ever smelled from them, though, is Warm Tobacco Pipe. And I'm just like, why in the hell would anyone want to burn a candle in their house that smells like warm tobacco? Why? But it's preferential. It's based on what you like. So they have something for everybody, I'm almost sure. They come in three different sizes. There's just mini, which is like $5. This one, which is 8 And then the big one, which I believe is 10 so check them out, you know, your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Get yourself. And my last favorite for the month of February is planning. Lately I have been so into sitting down and writing out everything that I need to do, important things that need to get done, things that I need to remember, ideas, all that, and it's so important. I honestly have been trying to get into it for like the last semester and I just suck. Like I just I was not interested. But the more that I do it, the more that I see myself writing down and taking note of important things and going back and like if I forget something, looking at my thing like, oh yeah, okay, cool, I wrote it down, makes me want to do it even more because I'm saving time and energy, picking my brain, trying to figure out things that should have been written down. So I have been using these two planners to plan out my life and all the good shit that takes place. Uh, the first one is my passion planner. Pretty much boring, but whatever. This is my school uh, planner, mostly. And then this is my personal planner where I write things, things for YouTube, things for the blog, things for miscellaneous, and shit like that. It's a way to look back and remind yourself what was happening that week and what did happen and what did you do and stuff like that. So I'm just really getting into that more and more. And that's it for uh, my February favorites. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace, love, and abundance, y'all. Bye!